With an increase in violence and recent mass shootings happening across the U.S., parents may be faced with questions and concern from their children. Jaron Doby is an outpatient mental health therapist with Navant Health. He says parents should first try to seek support to process their own thoughts and feelings. He also says parents should not be afraid to initiate conversations with their children about the violent events that have transpired in our country. We really have to make sure, number one, that we're taking the liberty to be very honest, right, with our children as to what it is that happened. Um, unfortunately, uh, what has happened in, in Buffalo for what it is that we've been able to understand was something that was racially motivated. You know, that, that's important for children to be aware of, you know, that these kinds of things happen in the world. Um, but also, you know, at the end of the day, what is it that can be done, right, by parents, by students, by other people in learning of these kinds of situations in order to decrease the likelihood of them happening again. He says initiating these types of difficult conversations with children can help to end a cycle of hate. But it is so much better at this time that we stand together and be able to understand that the actions of one person does not dictate right the actions of all people. Um, it's important at this time that we choose to love one another, um, but we do not ignore the truth of why it is that these things have happened. Dovey says it's important for parents to check in with their children and let them know it's okay if they do have questions. I think it's big as parents we have to realize that you can't hide things, mm -hmm. you know, you can't, it's not going to go away unless you, they, you have to tell them about it, make them aware, and it's just doing it in an age appropriate manner is what matters. And he also talked about how they have access to everything, the internet, That's people right. at school, so they're going to hear about it one way or another, and I think it's important that he said we have to be open and honest. The truth is the only way to handle it because the reality is these things are happening in our country. It's more comforting, I think, for them to hear it from the parents mm -hmm. than from other people. Yeah, and I, I was curious, do your kids ask you about things yes. like this? They do? Yeah, especially if it's dinner time and, and we'll turn on like national newscasts sometimes before or while we're making dinner or that type of thing. That's when, if they see something, then they'll ask questions. And I mean, it's, it's everywhere. Lauren's right, you can't escape it. You might as well address it. It right. makes me think back to 9-11 when that happened. Uh, I mm -hmm. was in fourth grade and I remember asking my parents like why is this happening why are these planes flying into this building why would they do something like this and them sitting down to me and kind of breaking down the whole situation so I would be aware of what was happening it's sad to, to think about that I'm gonna one day have to sit down with Baylor and tell her mm -hmm. that mass shootings happen and I feel like that was not a conversation that my parents had to have with me mm -hmm. when I was growing no. up it wasn't and it is kind of sad that it's become a thing but I would rather them you, you almost have to think of I, I will tell you as a parent it's uncomfortable to have to say that mm -hmm. to them because you, it's sad you know you, you feel a sadness a loss of innocence and that type of thing of childhood but you have to prepare them for what's out there and I think also one of the key takeaways is Dobie has said not only talk to them about what's happening but what can be done to fix it how can you be the change in the world that you want to see what can we do to educate ourselves or to spread love to spread forgiveness and not to spread hate. That's true. That's stuff you have to think about that sometimes you don't think about until you have a child.